Vážení posluchači, z technických příčin nemůžeme pokračovat ve vysílání našeho pořadu. Vyslechněte si zatím hudbu z gramofonových desek. Hello everyone. Let's start this video at the end of the video. Here we have what I call a time machine, a real time machine. A recorder that records sound on reels of magnetic tape. Um, this particular model was produced between 1970 and 1972. And equipment with almost my age, about almost 50 years old. And what is curious is the state of he is in. But it is best to start at the beginning. In the past, when I was much younger, before there were computers in our homes, there were cassette sound recorders. They will exist, but nowadays nobody or almost nobody uses cassette or magnetic tape recorders to record sound. Any smartphone records high quality sound, any camera records high quality sound and there are small sound recorders that record in high quality, like these small Zoom H1 recorder. But at the time I dreamed of having a real to real player recorder for its excellent sound quality that surpassed the sound quality of audio cassettes. Maybe one day as an adult I can have one. At the time a good high quality real to real player recorder was very expensive and even today these top of the line real to real player recorders are expensive. The years passed and in the meantime we started to have computers at home to digitize sound and to be able to record sound and music in CDRs and later downloads, streaming and so on. However, sound cassettes become obsolete as well as real recorders. One day I visited the abandoned facilities of Raret Machuqueira from the Cold War period, RFE, Radio Free Europe as you can see in the video at this link. I found nothing less than a few reels of magnetic tape scattered around the place. I was curious what the contents of these tapes could have and if another several decades they would still be in a position to be heard. But of course I had no reader to listen to them. After some time I decided to look for a reel-to-reel -reel reader writer to be able to test the tape I had brought from the place. And the curious thing is that there was someone here in my city, even close to the place where I live, selling a reel-to-reel -reel for a reasonable price and from the photos of the advertisement it seemed to me that the equipment was in good condition. I decided to contact the seller and this is how it all starts. So today I'm going to get the reel-to-reel -reel for the first time but first I'm gonna cut, cut this hair I'll be back So now I have cut my hair uh, I didn't cut my hair Someone cut my, cuts my hair and waiting for the guy who's going to sell the reel-to-reel -to, -reel to me it <laughs> just waiting so I have it right now let's bring it home it's very heavy 14 kilograms
how big this is and heavy. This door doesn't close. broken Oop. this is the handle no it's not it don't tell me why ah I press this it's a handle and at the same time it's the foot of this device placed in vertically like this wow oops Okay, I have to clean this first and then I will check it out. this excitement I forgot almost I almost forgot to, to check what's in the bag besides the microphones in very pristine state like almost like new look at it look at this they're perfect Get it. Tripod for the, the microphone, one for the left and one for the right. Very nice condition. We have some manual in Portuguese. Another operating instructions. Look at this. This is so cool. Many people want this, but there's online too, and other stuff. Look at this. Vintage. <laughs> Look at this. Schematic, service manuals, whatever. Old school stuff, very nice. Some reel to reel. Empty. Cables. Thin cables. And nothing more. The problem is I don't have 
DIN to RCA to digitize stuff and to connect on the modern amplifiers. Just DIN plugs. Damn it. We'll check it out. So now I don't have uh, tape, but I have these reels. Let me put the reels for the first time in here. I really don't know how we put these things. Ah, that's it, I think. <laughs> and like this. Maybe we turn this around. Like that, and this doesn't go out. Let me turn on. Hmm. Already hear some noise from the motor. I think this needs some kind of uh, maintenance, of course. This is the speed. Ah, this is off. Okay. Start speed. Ah, okay. Here we can turn. Of course, this doesn't have maximum speed. It doesn't have tape. Pause. Stop. Rewind. Fast forward, and the counter is running. I do not have any tape. This is the play. Okay. I have to get some tape or else. And it's off. Just like that, take this off. Hmm, read the manual. Can you reach between the heads? Let's see. Yeah. Cool. Metal. Okay. It's cleaning, cleaning, of course. Capstan. I think it's not bad, it's just a cleaning. And the heads are with dirt, but and some corrosion. And I don't know. It doesn't look so bad, I think. It's a, a, a nice clean. Look at it. Nice cleaning. Focusing. Okay. I will try to open just to check the rubber parts. I mean, the what's the name of that? The ribbons and all that. If they are intact and not destroyed at the time, the erosion of the time. Strange, these screws are not Phillips. <laughs> this is not Phillips, this is Hua, or whatever the name. Well, Look at this. Looks very nice. Ah. They are great. Let me film with 
the it is as my pocket oh, like that looks good to me let me get the light They are great. It's unbelievable how big this is. And so much time these have. And in all, it's so good condition. It's amazing. Amazing. And the smell of this smells like new. <laughs> That's incredible. Smells like a new machine from that time. I remember the old radios, uh, the smell they have, and these have that smell. It's incredible. Still have the, that smell. Look very nice. This is so well made for the time. It's look, looks like a tank, <laughs> German tank. Amazing, this old technology, very well made.
Thank you.